Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across this platform, Linda's TV show. If it is your first time and you like what we are doing here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. I want to appreciate all of you massively for your support and uh, being always with me. And I also appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to pass information across to the members of the public. At the same time, I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we do not promote hate speech, violence, misleading information. We are only here to inform, educate the members of the public about the happenings. And also, I great people, before I play this video for you to listen, I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate this my brother from another mother, my good diary. I have not seen an honest fellow, an honest man like this before. Ever since Mazin Nandi Kano was kidnapped, he has been there speaking the truth. He have not backed down. He have not, you know, deviated from the truth. I want you to take your time to listen to this video. <laughs> Finally, the knots have decided to break out from Nigeria. You can't believe this. When I saw this, I was like, wow, now how may not see so. And another thing is this Mazin Nandi Kano Haji Diato Janjeloko Na Mazin Nandi Kano Buzi Udo Jihanonu. Remember the other time Binta Nyako off her hand in Mazin Nandi Kano's case. Later they said she must continue. Now, according to the news on the 17th, the hearing will continue and uh, Binta Nyako is going to continue. And I know that obviously she's under pressure, but it's left for her to choose. I know that they are telling her a lot of things. I was listening to Mazina the Kano's uh, previous videos where he was saying that they want to use Bintanyako to jail him, that they are threatening him with his husband and their son. So let's look at how all these things is going to and and as you watch and listen to great exposition analysis intelligent analysis from our brother my good diary sit down and watch don't click and go you are going to learn and enjoy this video thank you keeping on amdekano in their detention is illegal right malamu then appealed to the Supreme Court at the time and said they needed a stay of execution because they've lost all the lies, all of the media trial, all the propaganda, everything fell flat because they did not actually even have any chance of proving anything in court. Till tomorrow, they have nothing to prove in court and Namdekanu actually committed any crime. When uh, the last time Mazil Namdekanu appeared in court and his lawyers, they were acting so stupid confused trying to say no we can't stand try we can't uh, you know have any trial uh, if uh, this court is not going to uh, obey the supreme court yeah 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 nonsense that uh, that guy was spewing right so unam dikanu had to stand up by himself i mean you know, for himself in court and faced muritalan yako the woman on the left to the point that by the time Unam Dekano finished defending himself in front of her, giving her the reasons why she is a compromised uh, judge, that he will never get any uh, fair hearing with her, then she recused herself after that uh, day. She excused herself. That's what that means. When you recuse yourself from a case, when you recuse yourself from a case, it simply means that uh, you withdraw yourself and say, okay, okay, I'm not going to handle it anymore. Take your case elsewhere. I won't do it. Now, there is this madman on the right. That is uh, the chief judge of uh, Nigeria's uh, high court. His name is uh, Soho. Soho, after receiving the letter of the woman on the left, saying, I don't want to be part of Unamdekanu's case anymore. 
take it elsewhere because Namdekano said he doesn't want me anymore. This man on the right looked at it and then sent it back to her and said, no, you continue with the case. Do you see what we're talking about? Yeah, I said, uh, you know what? You are the one that we want to handle it. Continue just toying with it and playing with it. Don't worry about anything else, okay? Because what they want is a pronouncement. But there is something I want to show you. Uh, in, uh, let me search it and put it on my screen. Okay. In 2022, yeah, uh, in a, an appeal court in Nigeria, right, ruled that Unam Dikano, right, that was in October. I don't know if you remember, but don't worry, I'll put it on the screen, okay, so that uh, it won't be like I'm just saying it. Give me a sec, okay? An appeal court on the 13th of October, 2022, ruled that Unam Dikano, right? I'm gonna, what's this? Yeah. Rule that Unam Dikano must uh, be returned back to, to Kenya because his abduction was so illegal and it has rendered all uh, legal standing of Nigeria illegal, irrelevant, because they kidnapped him. In that uh, CEO, I'll read it to say, the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja on Thursday upheld the appeal of the detained leader of the prescribed uh, IPOB in Namdekano. The court also discharged and acquitted the embattled leader of the prescribed group. Kano had in his appeal dated April 29th that year, 2022, applied to be discharged and acquitted. Kano was first arraigned on the December 23rd, 2015. And was later granted bail on the 25th uh, of April 2017. However, the Court of Appeal on Thursday declared as illegal and unlawful the abduction, the abduction of Kano from Kenya to Nigeria and quashed the entire terrorism charges brought against him by the federal government. The appellate court held that the federal government breached all local and international laws in the forceful rendition of Kano to Nigeria, thereby making the terrorism charges against him incompetent and unlawful. The appeal court in a judgment by Justice Oluto Tuadebola voided and set aside the charges by the federal government against Kanu. The appellate court proceeded to discharge Kanu from the alleged offenses. Justice Adebola held that failure of Nigeria to follow due process by way of extradition was fatal to the charges against Kanu. The appeal court further held that the failure of the federal government to disclose where and when the alleged offenses were committed was also fatal to the terrorism charges and made them liable to dismissal. So, reacting to the judgment, Kano's lawyer and human rights activist Ifan Yejofo wrote, Appeal allowed Oyendu Maazi Namdi Kano discharged and acquitted. We have won. Right. So what happened after that? I'm just reminding you so that some of you kind of love to listen to all of the propaganda that Nigeria continued to spew. And that is why we told you then that keeping on Amdekanu in their detention is illegal. Right? Malamu then appealed to the Supreme Court at the time and said they needed a stay of execution because they've lost all the lies, all of the media trial, all the propaganda, everything fell flat because they did not actually even have any chance of proving anything in court. Till tomorrow, they have nothing to prove in court and they cannot actually committed any crime. But majority of all these things, a lot of you hated him. Yeah. Majority of what you have all come from the propaganda you have been fed on social media. And maybe your hatred for the Igbos, by the way. There are Igbos who also hated Unam Dikano simply because they couldn't believe that somebody like Unam Dikano who controls such massive following. They were jealous of him, right? And because of that, they wanted him killed. 
They support Nigeria. They believe that those, they, in fact, they, they, they were actually saying people who are following Namdi Kanu are illiterate. Only for them to realize that they are the illiterate, the arrogant idiots, self hating egos who just wanted a man that they couldn't believe that. Both educated, uneducated, well exposed, well traveled businessmen, rich and not so rich egos actually listen to him. They couldn't believe it. That these people don't listen to their criminal politicians. They do not respect them per se. But that Nam the Kanu and his microphone, that Nam the Kanu and his social media platform is able to control the millions of people that respect him so much. They hated him for it. They wanted Nigeria to kill him, but they couldn't kill him. They couldn't jail him. They couldn't prove anything in their courts. In their desperation, they violated international laws. They kidnapped him from Kenya. And their court told them that's so wrong. If you really want to try him, you have to follow the process of extradition. You need to return Unamdekanu to Kenya. And you have to pay him 1.5 billion naira in damages. Return him to Kenya. Then you can now go back to Kenya. Okay? and begin the process of whatever accusation you have against him, you have to present it to the Kenya courts, okay? And apply for extradition. That is when you can bring him to Nigeria and then try him on the treason or whatever uh, terrorism nonsense you want to charge him for. Not just use social media and begin to tell people on social media, IPOB is dangerous, IPOB is terrorist, IPOB, yeah, 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 yeah. When we all know that the real terrorist here is the Nigerian government. They are wanted to that has criminalized self-determination. So self-determination is not a crime anywhere in the world. If I say, okay, yeah, I am supporting Yoruba nation, let us break up. It is my right. That doesn't mean that I am committing any crime. What happened then is that if I have enough following, I can push for a referendum enough that you just have to give in. That's democracy. You don't criminalize it. So they did all of that on social media. When they now kidnapped him to Nigeria. They couldn't present any evidence that Unam Dekanu meant any harm. Or Unam Dekanu planned any terrorism in Nigeria. They couldn't present anything. They just wanted the court to kind of lock him up illegally. So Malamu went back to court. Eh? He went to court to say he will go to the Supreme Court. That if they release Unam Dekanu, it's going to bring shame to the government of Bukwari. And it is uh, going to bring uh, so -so and so to Nigeria. An embarrassment. You have already caused an embarrassment. You locked an innocent man up on trumped up charges that you can't prove anything. You continue to feed your citizens with lies, propaganda. When that won't work, you resorted into recruiting terrorists in eastern Nigeria. Abi, you call them unknown gunmen. So that you can have something to justify why you are keeping an empty canoe. But even at that, you still can't stand in your own court, right, to present any evidence. No, you can't. So they went to Supreme Court. The Supreme Court then said, mm, "What happened is that the uh, Multa, sorry, the Bintan Yako court shouldn't have revoked his uh, his bail when it was obvious that while on bail, Nigerian army they went to his house to kill him. He ran for his life." He would, be, he would have been dead by now if he stayed back to let them kill him. They killed over 28 people in front of his house. All of these are just provocation by the Nigerian army. So that is not enough for the Muritala Yako to revoke his uh, bail. That bail should be reinstated. The Supreme Court that should have upheld the appeal, Abi, decided that they should go and do the retrial. They now send him back to Unyako. The Unyako Muritala, I'm sorry, this uh, Binta and Yako, this, this mad woman here on the left, who justified keeping an innocent man in jail, right? Revoked his bail. They now sent Unamdekanu back to her to go and retry. And Unamdekanu said, No, I do not have any case in front of you. You can't try me. Eh? The Supreme Court says, the reason why I should be here is probably since Supreme Court is so is, is so lily livered, right? To kind of like uh, approve what uh, the appeal court already ruled on in 2022. So here I am, you, Mrs. Inyako, 
you have to restate my bail and let me go. Or I am not going to defend anything in front of your court anymore. I do not have any case here. And she said, if you don't put up your defense now, eh? if you don't put up your defense, I am going to rule. Rule, Yoshi, rule. Because Nigeria is a lawless place. So that Soho, this madman on the right, eh, is now the one who says, uh, Nyako cannot leave the case. He must continue as the judge in this trial. And Nam the camera says, there's no trial. Can't you guys see it? There's no trial. There shouldn't be any trial. I do not have any case in front of you guys. But it is Nigeria. I told you that they are not keeping him because of, uh, uh, of I mean, they are not, they are keeping him all because they want to keep him as, uh, it's like keeping a trophy. You get that now? Yes, we got him. Yes, we kidnapped him. We committed the international crime just because we wanted to have this guy. So inside your own court, right? It defeated you inside your own court. He's the most dreaded person to them. So every time they take him to court, they say he cost, he cost them 500 million naira every day. Every time you see Unambicano in court, it costs Nigeria 500 million naira. Let him go. Pay him his 1.5 billion, put him on the next available private jet, and fly him straight to Kenya. And all this madness can end. But they won't do that. So that man on the right, who is the, uh, the judge, I'm going to the column, the chief judge of the high court has insisted that Unam Dekanu should continue the case in front of uh, Nyako. And so the injustice continues, unfortunately. We'll see what they say to that afterward. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.